So, you can watch a hill climb with me back in a video. Steve Baglioni just went with his Nissan GTR. Like I said, they were a crash, but that was this one. Um, but I forgot the stunt driver's name. Um, he actually. He actually crashed um, what apparently clutch run out. But you can enjoy it with me uh, while I'm eating my cake. They don't have any cutleries, so if, you wanna, if you're hungry, I suggest you get something yourself. So we are in a good wood, right? Where everything smells of um, burnout tires, cars. So we have a walk um, around the corner. Ian Phillips. Do I know him now? Back. I still haven't went through all of the event places, you know. We just got tired, so you can enjoy some of the stunt riding um, on behind on a hill climbing. So tomorrow is going to be a last day, but if you buy a car, used car, you don't want to buy a banger. Um, Make sure you go on carsimer.com. Have a look on the packages. Pretty much anywhere in around London, 100 miles away for a next day service. Anywhere up north, two, three days, um, like Scotland. Birmingham, next day. Most of the UK, about two, three days. Two days. Some areas more quicker. Where we have more inspectors. Yeah. Welcome to Goodwood, right? You need actually COVID test to get in. Um, and um, they trial and sort of thing out. I think you can do COVID testing now by the entrance. But I had one. Randomly done. And guess what? It was negative. Nice to have a sit down a bit in a piece of quiet a bit. Yes, yes. What was your last event you went to? I actually haven't been for Jenny Motorsport events for since COVID started. Oh, this is one of the biggest events. In July in um, in motorsport, um, where all the manufacturers, everyone is around, all the petrol heads. It could be a great place where you, if you want to buy a car, you don't know what you're buying. You can get some inspiration. <laughs> and then we can put a dot at, the, dot at the end of the sentence, you know, and check the car for you. Unless you're buying a brand new. And ordering is the delivery. So that's what's going on there. Just a random interview. It is four days of craziness. Um, it's a bridge over there, isn't it? 
He's up by, you know where the... Uh, the cake is quite nice. Oh, yeah. um, actually. Carlos, if you're watching, sending you a lot of love. Jonathan, not sure about you. You are petrohead, you should be here. You know, I will actually text you now. Maybe you are here. Hiding in, in, in a Porsche somewhere. But I haven't seen you then. The cake was nice. Um, if you don't know what is good wood, just Google it up. Four day one. If you don't know what is car exam, Google it up. We can help you to make the right decision. Um, if you, that's a nice F40, right? What do you think? Yeah. But we can help you to make the right decision. So you buy when you buy a new used car. Don't assume everything what seller says is, is, is true, right? They selling you buying. They selling whether they know or whether they don't know what they're selling. You don't know. If it's a salesman in a, in, a, in, a, in a car dealership, they don't know what they're selling. They've been sold to use car. But you don't know what's wrong with that. Because they're just selling. If you're buying from something smaller, um, and the owner is actually, they're actually supplying the cars for themselves, they more likely would know. Uh, but um, you would not. And, and when you're buying from somebody who used car, you're not in a position not even make an offer I mean you can make an offer but without without um, without um, without facts without any information and that offer would be just an emotional offer because you just it's in a human nature never buy something for the asking price well, you, you can try but by using car examiner you can actually talking about the facts And then you can negotiate the price based on, on the report. If the report comes out good, then the price is right. If the report comes out not as great, then the price is not right. And when the price is not right, then you can negotiate it. That's what we do. That's our main goal. We want you to buy a good car and um, you can enjoy it. So whether you take, whether you, whether you take a week on a Goodwood racing track, you know, um, for exhibition or what we're using daily or what we're buying something for investment um, one bad decision could could be very costly and that's what we're good at you know um, we can help you to save you money in the long term and with Scott Ruxima, bad news is always good news. Even if, even that doesn't sound straight away that way, but um, what, is, what is cheaper, 84 pounds or 100, 169 pounds? Or when you have to start doing, um, replacing things next after next after next. And, um, and it's just a headache from the from the day one. We have to replace all the tires. We're well, just the basic things, you know. Don't really need a um, damaged engine or or worn out rings, oil rings, and burned oil, burning oil issues. Um, or smoke at the back. Um, lack of powers, um, which you didn't feel at the road test, and you bought it, and there was a lack of power, and you start to have to investigate in DPF issues. Um, 
and EGR valve problems. Um, do you want to do that? You can, um, unless you know what you're doing and you can fix it yourself and you, you only bought it for the right price, way below the market value, then it would make sense, you know, but... But we're here to help you out. And um, when you don't know something, we know. And together, it's just easier to make a right decision, you know? Uh, as a used car is used car, and there could be some tolerances between what's acceptable, what's not acceptable, <clears throat> and what can be arranged with the seller and what, can, what they actually can rectify. That's the main goal. That's the that is what we do, um, and um, and it always works out well for the customer <coughs> because um, sellers will rectify those issues in most of the scenarios. When you, when you buy it from private, then um, you can talk about the price, you know, because private seller will more likely will not fix it. But some of the good ones, and if they see an effort from you buying it. Some of the good uh, some of the good sellers, they, they actually will do certain things like changing tires before you're collecting. We had many of these situations, so but not always, you know. But it does happen. So have a look on a Goodwood. Um, there's a Goodwood Live. Um, if you don't know where I am, I'm in a Goodwood Festival of Speed, one of the sickest events in in, in the UK. In a, in a, in a motorsport, in a petrol head, um, in, in any petrol head, petrol heads head, right? Everyone is around here, and um, it's a great, great four-day event. Um, probably for me, four days from early morning till evening would be too much. But I definitely joined today. Um, feel already tired. It's been a long day. And. Um, Somebody's coming around the corner finally, and um, something started up again. Yeah. They're just showing the view, bird view, um, around it. Yeah. I enjoy it. Um, let me enjoy um, this further. Um, have a great day. And, um, if you know somebody who's buying a car, and you feel sorry for them and you know they they, they never bought a right car the first time then um, share them currently.com um, 